Congratulations and welcome to the final video in this series on the chart of accounts. We've come a long way learning about the segments in Munis, and that's funds, programs, orgs, and objects. And here at the end, now it's time to put everything together. Because the chart of accounts is a lot like Voltron. Some robot cats are legs and feet, and others are the chest and the head. And in order for everything to work together, everything needs to be put together just so. You get it. At the end of our previous video, we learned about the short string, which is a combination of the segments org, object, and project in that order. Though if you're working with a general fund org, that is an org that begins with 11, then there is no project segment in the short string. Project segments are only for non-general fund orgs. As we discussed in that video, short strings are what enable you to point to specific amounts of money in Munis. So for example, back in that test street maintenance org, the short string 11410316-52301 points to a fiscal year 2018 budgeted amount of $2,000 for office supplies. And how do I know this? Well, it's simple. By entering my memory palace, walking down the hall, past the conservatory, past the billiard room, to that shelf on the study where I see the candlestick. Or by entering the short string into the account inquiry screen in Munis. And to do this, you just enter 11410316 into the org field, press tab, and then enter 52301 to the object field. Leave the project field blank because this is a general fund org, and then press enter or accept. Munis will return the results of this short string search and bing, look. $2,000 in budget authority for fiscal year 2018. But wait a second, I can hear you saying, if that's it, then what was the deal with the program segment? Whatever happened to that? Well, my incisive friend, you're right. The short string is only half the intelligence the chart of accounts applies to a given amount of money. The other side of the coin is the long string. And if we flip back over to that account inquiry search from before, we'll see it. See that grade field labeled <laughs> Well, that's the long string for Tess's street maintenance org's office supplies object. And though there's a lot going on in there, let's walk through the long string and see what we can understand. So those first two digits look familiar. They're the same two as at the beginning of this org, and sure enough, that's the fund. In this case, it's the general fund, fund 11. The next two segments, the two-digit segment 40 and the three-digit segment 410, are the function and subfunction. And if you want to get into those, then you'll need to become an accountant, join our financial reporting team, and then help us build the CAFR, which is another way of saying you're probably not gonna need to worry about that. Next is a two-digit segment that should also look familiar. Look back at the street maintenance org. Yep, it's the department, which in this case, 41, which is TESS. Next is a four-digit segment, which is division. That's department in the first two digits, followed by a running count. And after division is a six-digit segment that you should recognize. Yep, it's the program. Program lives in the long string. Next is another six-digit segment called OCA, which we use to crosswalk between Munis and the old financial system. And finally, the last segment is another one that you should be familiar with, which is object. So the long string clearly has a lot of information in it. There's stuff for accountants, stuff for departmental fiscal staff, stuff for future local government anthropologists to use to connect our current financial information back to historic information from the old 1990s. And that's great, but it's also kind of a lot. So it's certainly too much to be able to be used effectively on a day-to-day -day basis. But thankfully, we don't have to search by long string because we have the short strings. So instead, we can just type in 11410316-52301, and we're there. And look, so is the long string. Every short string has an associated long string, and vice versa. Both point to the same amount of money. They're two sides of the same coin. Or maybe they're two sides of the same reversible bucket hat, either way. And that's it. That's the chart of accounts. That's where all the money is. So depending on your position with the city, you may need to spend your time working with data in, say, one specific org, or maybe in several orgs in the same department, or perhaps citywide. In any case, the best thing to do is just to dive into account inquiry and get the lay of the land. In order to get started on the specifics of using Munis to search and sort and acquire data, I'll see you in our Munis 101 series, The Basics. See you then.